Hello, Professor. My name is Nguyen Quy Ngang, and my student ID is 1240030. And today I will present uh, my project, USA election result using Python. Okay, and let's get started. So this is the description of my project. First, I will get the 2020 United States presidential election result using Python. And second, I will um, do some further cleaning of the data set to make it become clearer and easier to read. Third is I will find the first and second candidate and also the winner. And fourth, uh, I will find the running mates and their roles. And my project is based on a tutorial on programming hero. And the number two and four is a bonus part of site from the tutorial. Here's the model I need to import, Pandas. So as you can see, Pandas is a fast, powerful, flexible, and easy to use open source uh, data analysis and manipulation tool. We on top of the Python programming language. And here, the screenshot of my full code. And let's get to the stage where I explain it. So as you can see, this is the tutorial I have based, I have watched to do my project. And today I will use Google Collab to present my project. And now let, let's get started. So in this project, uh, I'm going to use a library called Pandas to read the data from a web page. And in this case, I will import it as PD for shortening. And so as you can see, this is a link and is a link to the web page which contain information for the election. And I have opened it here, as, as you can see. And I will use a method called reach HTML to read the data from this web page to a variable called wiki. Okay. And going to the data summary stage, uh, to understand more our, about our data, uh, let's see its type and its length, which can be achieved through this line of code. Yeah. And uh, how about its elements? Let's see the types of its elements. And I will also run the code from the beginning. So yeah. As you can see, this is the elements of the code. And now, um, as you can see, I have got the uh, result of the 2020 United States resident presidential election. Yeah, okay. And this is a bonus part aside from the tutorial on YouTube. As, as you can see, the data set above is pretty messy and there are so many NAM, ANA, not a number, values. And um, the column doesn't represent anything meaningful, only from number zero to three. And so I will transform it into something cleaner with this line of code. Yeah, so first I will transform the data frame. And um, second, as the first column, column zero, only contain the NAN values, I'm going to drop it. And um, ACES, uh, yeah, the rate, the zero represent the row, and number one is for column. Okay, so uh, you can see that the column still not represent anything meaningful. Uh, why the first row seem to explain all of the values below it? So I will set the name of the column to the first row of their data frame, which can be done as below. And uh, IOLC means extracting the first row of the data frame. Yeah. So as you can see, the first row and the fourth row seem to be redundant. And I will drop them too. Uh, 
Okay. So now the data frame is clean and much easier to understand compared to the previous one. Uh, so now you can see that um, we have uh, Joe Biden as a nominee and he is from Democratic Party and his home state from is Delaware and his running mate is Kamala Harris, yeah. Now let's get back to the tutorial, which is this. And uh, we can see that the above data frame is much cleaner. Now going to the third, third stage, um, I'm going to extract information about the first candidate, which has the column name one. Yeah, so as you can see. The index for the names, both popular, both are one, one, five, and seven respectively. So um, this is how I will extract the data. Okay, so similarly, I can do the same thing with the second candidate, which is uh, Donald Trump. Okay, so um, this is a basic comparison. The person who has higher number of votes or percentage uh, will win. So this is a simple if else statement. And if the number of votes of the first person is higher, then he's the winner. And if the number of votes of the second person is higher, then he's the winner. Then let's see who is the winner here. Yeah, so as you can see, the winner is Joe Biden. So uh, coming to who are, who are the running mates and their roles, this is also a bonus part aside from the tutorial. And uh, let's see. Yeah, so we must have wondered what running mates means in this context and who are Kamala Harris and Mike Pence. And to understand it better, let's extract the six and seven elements of the wiki list. Okay, so it's turned out that Kamala and Mike are running for vice president and represent two opposite parties, Democratic and Republican parties. And this is also the end of my project. I hope you like it and thank you for listening.